All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Next Time the Power. So I wanted to do a countdown of the top 10 bodybuilder deaths from heart attacks. So sadly, heart attacks seem to be one of the leading causes of death in bodybuilders. And unfortunately, there are many, many, many more bodybuilders than just 10 that have died from heart attacks. This is kind of like a cautionary tale. Although bodybuilding, you know, it's incredible to watch. It's very entertaining. And these guys are pushing their bodies to the absolute limit. It's important to remember that this does come at a price and there is a heavy risk to it. And anybody that says there isn't a risk um, to taking steroids or becoming a professional bodybuilder, they're just simply wrong because, I mean, the numbers don't lie. Not only have all these bodybuilders died of heart attacks, but most of them have died in their 40s or even in their early 30s. Most of these guys didn't even live till 50. So these, these are some very sad stories, um, but this, I think this video has to be made. So really this top 10 is in no particular order. It's just the top 10 bodybuilders that I think are the most noteworthy that have passed away from heart attacks. It's kind of hard to rank someone's death on a scale of one to 10, but these are the top 10 that I believe um, are the most noteworthy. So number 10, we have Edward Kowak. So Edward Kowak passed away in 2006 at the young age of 47 years old. And Ed Kowak is a legendary, legendary bodybuilder. He is a five-time NABBA Mr. Universe winner. Um, and again, I've made some videos about this in the past, but the NABBA Mr. Universe competition um, before the Olympia, this was the premier bodybuilding competition. And up until about 1971, it pretty much rivaled the Olympia in terms of prestige. And Ed Kowak won it five times, which is the record for winning the NABBA Mr. Universe. So he's tied with one other guy named Eddie Elwood. So five times is the record, like eight times is the record for the Olympia. So this guy was kind of like the Lee Haney of NABBA. So this guy was a bodybuilding legend and he died at a very young age of a heart attack in 2006. So at number nine, we had Vince Comerford. Uh, this guy was one of the guys, he's very well known from the 90s. Um, he actually competed in Vince McMahon's WBF bodybuilding organization as well as the IFBB um, all throughout the 90s. So he died from a heart attack in 2014. He was only 52 years old. And again, this guy is very well known in bodybuilding circles. Um, and again, a major competitor from the 1990s. So died at age 52 from a heart attack. So in number eight, we have Frank Hillebrand. This guy died at the age of 45 in 2011. And this guy was known for his aesthetics. He was kind of a smaller guy, but he had really good conditioning, really good lines, really good aesthetics. Um, his best placing was a seventh place finish at the 1990 Mr. Olympia. And he also had an 11th place finish at the 1992 um, Arnold Classic. But this guy was actually found dead uh, in the gym. Well, he had a heart attack in the gym. And he was basically training. He was a personal trainer at this gym. Um, and I guess one of the gym members, they did an interview after his death. And they said they just saw, they came into the locker room. And they saw six firefighters standing around a guy laying on the floor with his legs up and a defibrillator on his chest. And they realized that it was Frank. Um, he had had a heart attack while he was working out in the gym. And he passed away. So Frank Hillebrand is number eight on the list. So number seven on the list, we have a bodybuilder by the name of Hans Hopstaken. Now Hans Hopstaken was known for being an NPC and IFBB masters competitor. Um, so in the IFBB, his most noteworthy placings were two top five placings at the Masters Olympia. Then he died in 2002 of a heart attack at the age of 45. So this guy was only 45 years old when he died. So Hans Hopstaken is number seven. So in number six, we have Greg Kovacs. So Greg Kovacs was the massive bodybuilder. That was the first bodybuilder to weigh over 400 pounds and still be ripped. Um, so this guy competed, you know, anywhere from the 350s to the 400s, and he was just a massive bodybuilder. He died from a heart attack in the year 2013 at the age of 44. Now, even though he was an IFBB competitive bodybuilder, he did not really place well in any shows. He was just known for being the largest bodybuilder, particularly in the off season, but he, he wasn't very aesthetic, and he did have a palumboism problem with his gut. So he passed away in 2013 at the age of 44 making him at number six on the list. So number five, we have Art Atwood. So Art Atwood, he's particularly famous for something he didn't actually achieve on the bodybuilding stage. He's particularly famous for being a meme. So there's a famous meme of a bodybuilder that goes around on the internet. I'm sure all of you have seen it. I'll show it to you here. This meme is actually an inflated version of Art Atwood. So that's how most people recognize him or know who he is. He's actually this bodybuilder from this meme. Um, but he was a consistent top 10 finisher in the IFBB. But he never really won any major shows except for the 2002 Toronto Pro. 
He died from a heart attack in 2011, and he was only 37 years old. I believe the story went he was walking alongside a pool, and he actually had a heart attack right there on the side of the pool um, and fell in the pool and died. So a uh, very sad story that he had to die at the age of 47, but I guess that's the price you pay. So Art Atwood is in number five. So in number four, we have a bodybuilder by the name of Charles Durr. So Charles Durr was an NPC and IFBB competitor from 1988 to 1999. Um, he competed in the 2004 IFBB North Americans. Um, he died from a heart attack the year following in 2005 at the age of 44. So a very young guy. And we have him in number four. So in third, we have the legendary bodybuilder, Mike Menser. So Mike Menser actually died from heart complications is what the official cause is listed at. But, but most people consider that to be a heart attack. And most people say it was in fact a heart attack. So Mike Menser is an absolutely legendary bodybuilder from the golden era of bodybuilding. Most people probably know who Mike Menser was from the 1980 Mr. Olympia, where they feel that he got screwed. He placed fifth there. That was the year that Arnold made his comeback and won the Olympia. And he was so upset with the placing from this Olympia, he actually boycotted the following Olympia. Then he retired at the very young age of 29 years old. So he had a lot of unrealized potential. A lot of people think he should not have retired, but he did. And he passed away in 2001 at the age of 49 years old. So very sad about Mike Menser. So in number two, we have Daniel Saccaresi. So this guy was an Italian bodybuilder who competed from 2007 to 2013. And actually at one point in time, he held the 2010 Guinness World Record for heaviest competitive bodybuilder because he weighed 297 pounds. So I don't know if that record was just for that particular year because that's not that heavy um, for a bodybuilder, especially if it's the off-season condition. So this guy, he was a pretty tall bodybuilder as well. But he died at the age of 33 from a heart attack in 2013. And that's why I have him in number two so close to the top of the list. Because, man, 33 is just, that's that's way too young to be dying of a heart attack. Um, so, very sad story about him as well. So, number one, we have the legendary bodybuilder, Mike Matarazzo. So, Mike Matarazzo was a frequent top 10 IFB professional from 1992 to 2001. He was a four-time top five finisher at the Night of Champions, and he died from a heart attack in 2014 at the young age of 47. He had various health problems and heart problems leading up to that point, so I think he kind of expected it, and he actually went on record as saying he believed steroids were the cause for his heart problems, and that he kind of regrets what he did to his body. So that's the list, guys, of guys that have died from heart attacks and bodybuilding. Now, keep in mind, this is not including all the guys that have died from heart disease, heart failure, liver failure, kidney failure, um, and the list goes on and on of other bodybuilders who have died from various other causes, but it seems to me like heart attack seems to be the most common cause of death. So please give this video a thumbs up and please share it because I think it's important that people realize that there is a cost that comes with being a professional bodybuilder. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.